Hi, welcome to a quick uh, video walk around for our smart car. Uh, really low mileage, especially for the age. Quite an old car now, 09 plate. Um, I think it's 40, it's either 40 or 41,000. Um, I'll show you the exact miles when we get inside. Uh, but nice and clean and tidy. Um, defects, absolutely minimal. I'll take you around and show you everything I can see. And then, of course, you can make your own mind up. It's grey above me and just starting a spit. So I'll try and get around the outside and get the roof closed as quick as I can. Um, but while still giving you all the details. Um, I'll find out the colour name and put that on there. It's, uh, it's going to be in the, the grey. It's kind of mixed between grey and gold. Um, I'll find out the smart or mercedes name for that color pop that on there uh, it's got these 15 inch wheels uh, the back ones have got a little bit of a concave to them and the front ones are flatter so they're going to be staggered this one is the only one that is missing a center cap for the wheel others are all good color match is good gaps are good i can't spot it having any previous paint as you can see it's a two-tone with some silver going through the top there See what I mean? That wheel's got a bit more of a, a concave to it than the flat one at the front. Little scuff on there, which we're going to touch in, but I'd just like you to see it before we do so, so you know what to expect, especially if you're having it delivered, you know. Don't want any surprises, do you? All right, let's open it up and have a look at the tailgate. Uh, high level brake light built in up there. Right. So it has like a Velcro sort of net divider. So on the other side is like a stowage net and you've got this uh, little retractable bit up there as well. And inside the tailgate itself is hollow. So there's some storage there to maximize the space. It's a tiny car, but that is a reasonable amount of stowage. It's a solid glass heated rear screen. Condition. Mirror caps match this sort of two tone part of it as well. And there we are, we've got a. It's unusual, isn't it? It's obviously been towing behind a motorhome or something like that. I don't think that's standard, I think that's an add on. I didn't notice that when I was doing the pictures. Might be useful to somebody. Right, we'll have a look inside now. Uh, usually I start at the back. There isn't really a back as such. But I'll just poke that in there so you can see. That's that cargo net storage that I was talking about. So that's the other side of that Velcro panel. And then that was the bit that I pulled across. So that would cover up anything you've got in the boot. Right then. So electric windows in the front. Got our owner's manual in the wallet there. I've included a picture of all that spread out. I think there's three different booklets in there. Uh, this sort of black through the center and then patterned cloth on both sides. We've got mats in the front, non-genuine ones. That one over there's obviously had a harder life than this one here. Airbag up here, little tiny glove box, which the valeters have missed. And you've got your 12 volt point just tucked under there as well. Head around to the driver's side now. I'll show you the rest of it. Usually I demonstrate the roof last, but just because it's starting to spit now, I'm going to do that first. So it's just this button here, nice and simple. No manual catches or anything to do. That's it, all done. Right, okay, so electric windows in the front, of course. You've got a little cubby hole there. There's the mileage, 40,455, if you're having trouble reading that. Then you've got your wipers here and lights over this side. There's a little leather trim steering wheel. Aircon, rear heated screen and recirculation up there. Uh, simple but effective radio, so FM, AM, CD and auxiliary if we go through the sources. Door locking and hazard lights. I've shown you that 12 volt point already from the other side. You've seen me operate the roof there. Uh, you can put it into eco mode here. Here's your gear shifter. So it has got the Tiptronic option. It's got kind of a sparkly type setup which matches the ends of the two stalks there as well, I noticed. 
Uh, came into me with one key. It's an original smart key, remote blipper. You've got no mirrors there. Interior lighting and regular rear view mirror. And that's everything I can see. Uh, just while I'm finishing off doing the waffle, I will take you out and show you that put the roof on. So I will put online as many pictures as I possibly can of interior, exterior, and paperwork. Uh, what we're trying to do is give you the experience of coming down here to the site to view the car without having to leave home. Um, so if you like what you've seen there and you'd like the car delivered, just get in touch and leave us a small deposit. We'll prepare the car, bring it over to you. If you're happy with it, you pay for it. If you're not, you don't. Um, I can explain that in greater detail if you want to give us a call. Or alternatively, here we are. We've got a main road car site on the border of Fairham and Gosport. There's loads and loads of stuff to look at. And the site is accessible seven days a week. So if you're just browsing, pop down any time. However, if there's one car I'm particularly interested in, assuming this one, if you've got this far into the video, um, please do phone ahead and make an appointment first. We're only a small two-man team and can quite often be out and about. Uh, whereas if you phone ahead, we can guarantee that someone will be here to accommodate you. Okay, that's everything I've got to say. Thank you very much for watching.